<laughs> so, what are we doing? We're about to do a film shoot of Ananda sailing today. In the previous episode I sailed single-handed south from Martinique to Grenada and I had to stay 14 days in quarantine anchorage before I could clear in. I really enjoyed my quarantine time at anchorage, even though I was totally alone. Lots of fresh food and beer on board and I could play my music as low as I want. This made me feel so lucky. Seriously, how could I ever complain when being in paradise enjoying this stunning view and sunsets? Not every day was as calm like this, so I had to come up with a solution reducing the rolling. By using a drug you can slow down the rolling when at anchor. It's not so easy um, when you are on anchor, but uh, try to get rid of the stains, as you can see here. So, just uh, have to try. I connected myself. My days at the quarantine anchorage passing by super fast while giving Be Free the TLC she deserves. There's always something to do on the sailboats, and being at anchor makes it possible to just jump into the water when it gets too hot. Just got the email from the Mayag telling me if my corona test is negative, I'm free to clear in tomorrow. So suddenly my two weeks was shortened to only 10 days. After being cleared in to Granada, I could finally stretch my legs, while making a decision if I should move into the marina. There is a possibility of at least a tropical storm, or in worst case, a hurricane heading my way. I sailed south to Granada because it's normally pretty safe here. It's approximately 5% risk of hurricane so far south. However, the early season hurricanes tends to go south. My first choice was actually the ABCs, but strict rules and complicated expensive check-in made Grenada look like the best option in this corona times. A little bit worried about what to expect, I made a decision to go inside Port Louis Marina and monitor the weather predictions from there. This is my first time being in a situation where I'm actually in the path of a potential hurricane. Watching updates twice a day and seeing the cone estimating the Gonzalo to come straight against us here at Granada. Feeling a bit in limbo because of the corona situation and also Venezuela as a no-go. There was not that many options left except stripping Be Free down and prepare for the worst. Sailing north in hurricane season is a bad choice. And with south as no option either, west would be the last alternative. The risk of being chased by Gonzalo while sailing west was not very tempting either. I had prepared Be Free for the worst and hoping for the best. And when Gonzalo changed its path from direct hit to the south of Granada, we were feeling very lucky and relieved that the only effect we got was this rainy day. Time to get to Bimini and spray it up again and make some new friends on this island. The fastest way to do this is to invite the Be Free Waffles and the famous Hoochie Moochie. I can't come up with a better invitation than switch on the neon sign that says bar. <laughs> that was his bar! <laughs> My new German friends Anja and Ralph invited me to a post-Gonzalo dinner to celebrate we escaped our biggest fears as sailors. Insurance does not cover named storms or hurricanes, so it's probably unnecessary to explain how happy we all were that they only get some rain. This looks uh, really good. Yeah. It's not uh, in, in, in no book is uh, the scripture about us. <laughs> 
So but I think we, we get have the first to make uh, some uh, ratings in the. For and for Thomas. Wow. Okay, this is this is Thomas. This is mine. Okay, okay next one. The ladies' version. <laughs> Small but beautiful. One of the cool things staying in a marina now and then is that you meet so many cool people. And my new friends on this beautiful Swan 82 invited me out to make a video for their owner. You can actually charter this stunning yacht here in the Caribbean with a professional crew on board. This is my captain today, Flora, <laughs> and we are actually on this dinghy to make a video of Ananda. So I'm still in Granada and uh, having a lot of fun here with friends and today is very exciting. We're going to make a video shoot for Ananda, so let's see how it goes. <laughs> This stunning 25 meter long yacht was built in 2012 by Notter Swan, German Freer's design and engineering. Flora is not only a badass tender skipper, she is also the chef on board Ananda. We struggled a lot with the weather. Every time we were ready to get the drone in the air, heavy rain showers kind of destroyed everything. I'm trying to make a video, but it was like this. With a chef on board, I can just imagine what a luxury week you could have as a guest on board here. <laughs> After my drone ended up in the ocean, the only way to get these kind of videos was to be hoisted up aloft. With its 35 meters, the view is not bad at all. So it was a rainy day, trying to make some <laughs> videos, but uh, it's not so easy when it's so rainy. But we got some shots, so let's see. Cut. Yeah. Hopefully I have a new drone ready to take off when this beauty is back in the water again. As we were not satisfied with the shots we made mostly due to the weather and lost drawn for the second run, we would have to do a new photo shoot under sail. Thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, I'm gonna take you guys with me racing round Granada.